Lighting's not awful. No, it's not great. It's not awful. I need something on my lips. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Emily's with me, we're on a little girl's trip. Um, we're staying the night a couple hours away from home. We just got facials and we feel so fresh yet. Um, so fresh, so clean. We're about to go shopping and we're like, <laughs> the girl doing our facials was like recommending a restaurant and it sounded really nice and kind of fancy and we're like looking at ourselves, we're um, like. We will not fit in. Are we gonna, what's the dress code? But anyway, we're gonna do some shopping and I wanna thank Tula for sponsoring today's video. I wanted to mention their gift sets so that you guys can potentially get them before Christmas in order for pretty much all the people in your life, honestly. <laughs> um, they have some, I just love Tula because honestly they come out with these gift sets every year and they're really smart because they come out with multiple ones and the prices range, so depending on what you wanna spend on gifts, but you're covered. Like you can purchase a full little that gift set. So cute. I know. So fun. So I'm gonna go through them with you guys really quick. Um, you can smell some of these things. I wanna start yeah, off with their sugar. I miss gingerbread one. Oh my god. Okay, so one of the things that you can get is their scrub trio. So these are like limited edition or special. <laughs> you can grab it. Edition or special, it, yeah, they come up with these edition. around the holidays. So there's <laughs> okay, so there is so sugar plum, so gingerbread, and so chocolate peppermint. I think the peppermint's my favorite, I like anything minty. Um, so let's you want to smell these? Yeah, I want to smell the gingerbread, They're so good. You can have that. Oh, Merry Christmas. Thanks. Hey, but they're not too strong. They're like super just like yummy and I love their exfoliating scrub. Did you eat it? Because they leave your skin feeling super nourished after. They're not dry or mm. stripped. These are my go-to, especially in the colder months because they just don't leave your skin feeling. Oh. Okay, that actually smells like a cookie. Yeah, it smells so good. Do you like that one? Yeah. You can pick whichever one's your I favorite, but you can't have the bread. peppermint. That's fine. That smells good. Oh, I just love this one. Can you smell that one? I like anything minty though. It just makes me feel really fresh. Ooh, yeah, very fresh. You've got to report back. Have you ever used one of Tula's scrubs before? No. Oh, it feels so good afterwards. Like your skin feels like you moisturized. Really? But you haven't. Do you use it like once or twice a week? Yeah, I do like twice a week. Yeah. It's such a treat and it just smells so good when you use it in the shower because the warm water is just like, ah, oh, so yummy and festive. But I love that you can get these in a trio because then you can hand them out to your friends. Sarah Knuth on Instagram. Yeah. She talked about these, I think it was last year. Oh, really? And she was talking about her favorite scents, like from least favorite to, mm -hmm. or f first to least, whatever. And she's like, and then you can give the one that you le like the least to your friend that you like the least. Oh my She's God. like, and just give them a subtle, and I just, now I always <laughs> think of that with these. One of their other holiday kits that you can get, their Eye Bomb Extravaganza, it's a three piece set. So you get the Glow and Get It, the original. You get the Glow and Get It um, in the, Brightening, wait, no, what is this? It's the pink one. It's just a different color, okay? The pink one, <laughs> that's the one I actually prefer. That's my favorite. And then you also get the 24 seven power swipe. It's a daily, day and night treatment for your eyes. So if you have never used the brightening bombs, like I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, they're literally the best and especially I like them under makeup, but I wear them without too, but it just gives you the nicest healthy glow under your eyes. Makes you look so awake, so. Anything brightening. Yes, like my any tired people in your life, get them <laughs> this. And one of the other kits that you get, I think this is the, I'm trying to do them in order from smallest to largest. So this is a five piece set and you get, this is the Celebrate Little Moments five piece skincare refining kit. You get the Clay Date detoxifying and toning face mask, the Glow and Get It because it's a staple. It's an, I think it's in every one of their holiday <laughs> kits. 24 seven moisture, one of my favorite go-to daily moisturizers. And you get the cult classic cleanser. This thing is ginormous. Yeah, I, I was always just gonna say that's huge. You'll never run out of it. You'll probably have to buy it once and then never again. And you get the bag too. I have a code with them and it gets all of these prices down to insane deals. Like literally insane deals. I'll try to pop them up on the screen because I'm a little bit all over the place right now. I'm super hungry and not functioning. <laughs> I'll put them right. <laughs> here. Emily will hold the prices actually. Like Vanna White? Yeah. 
So I think this is the Celebrate Radiance. It comes with seven pieces. And let's see what's inside. You get beauty sleep, overnight repair treatment. This Ooh. thing is game changer. That sounds nice. Especially in the winter. Yeah, especially in the main winter. Literally, like take Ugh. that stuff on and just sleep on your back. Yeah. 24 7 moisture hydrator hydrating day and cream night cream <laughs> the rose glow and get it that's what it's called the rose glow and get it that's what makes the pink one different oh is Instead it like of the tinted? it has a different hue to it yeah. cult classic cleanser the brightening treatment vitamin c drops these are awesome i love the consistency of these and the way they make my skin feel and then the filter primer Blurring and moisturizing primer. Ooh. I that's what you I would need right now. I feel like Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks. Seriously, I have two of those already. Otherwise, I would not be forking it over because it is so good. I yeah. don't even like primer, and I love that. I like love something that's blurring. It's not that slicky, um, silicone-y feel yes. where it feels like everything's gonna be slipping around. Yeah. It's not. It's moisturizing, and your makeup like sits to it without clinging. <sighs> I don't know, there's something magical about it. Like I said, I'll try to put everything on the screen as far as pricing and stuff, because you guys know I'm just not that organized and I don't, I mean, it has it right here, but I don't know what it's gonna be with my code and all that, but hopefully mentioning it in this vlog is gonna give you guys enough time to order for Christmas, I believe it will. And this, I need some of this right now. You guys have heard me rave about this. This is their Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint SPF 30. I wear this on a daily basis. I'm literally obsessed with it. This is my favorite tinted moisturizer tinted like anything that I've ever used it's literally my favorite I also didn't realize that Tula has like it's formulated without all these yeah why don't things. you read, read those off formulated without without parabens hairbands without any hairbands <laughs> really I can't this is ridiculous. Tula's gonna be like, no, this is not approved. You need to uh, refilm. All of their products are formulated without parabens. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Sulfates. <laughs> A word I cannot say. It starts with a P. Mineral oil and petroleum. Formaldehyde. Ooh, people put formaldehyde and stuff. <laughs> okay, while she does that, I think it's really cool that Tula does not include parabens, sulfates, mineral oil, petroleum, formaldehyde, formaldehyde releasing preservatives, triclosan, retinol, fragrant, <laughs> fragrant, <laughs> how do you do this every day? Oh, it's a joke. Retinol, fragrance, wow, that was a hard one. <laughs> Gluten and dairy, I did not know that they did that. So that's yeah, really cool. And it's formulated with probiotics too. So it's like not only does it make your skin look oh, good, yeah. but it's actually literally like feeding your skin. Probiotics and superfoods. That's cool. I'm into it. Holy. Alright, I'm gonna put some of that 24 7 moisturizer on. Try to blur out this stuff that they put on my face. It's like a tinted sunscreen or something. Do you want any tinted any? Yeah, I should probably put something on. This will match you I mean, better than it me. does me. So you just need like a little bit and I put it on my fingertips and then literally look at the coverage of that. Like look how, I've already raved about this. It looks so natural. It does not look like you have any makeup on your skin, but it gives you the coverage to not look totally Wow, I'm gonna dead. need. Okay, so I'm gonna leave all the links to everything that you need Tula down below all the information um, but I love working with Tula because they are just such a great skincare brand and one of the things that I really love about them and I was telling Emily before we started filming is um, that their like motto and slogan is embrace your skin and they don't use filters on their posts like they don't filter out real skin like yeah, that's, that's so I don't cool. even want to say imperfections it's like real skin I feel like we've really lost touch with that I feel like I'm it really like normalizes really normalizes it like, yeah yeah and we're all really hard on ourselves but it's like I think it's because our perspective of what our skin's supposed to look like has changed it's so true so I just love that they're doing that and for a skincare brand like Tula who is so well known mm -hmm. and used and loved to be doing that is huge and so important so I love working with them but we're gonna do some shopping and some eating. We're gonna eat first, yeah, so but yeah, I'll bring you guys mm -hmm. along with us and then we'll get ready later. We're gonna go out and have some fun. A little night away. Yes. Wait, you gotta come look in this mirror. Oh. Oh,
one that feels weird. No. What? The bag? Yeah. No. It feels like it's like a laptop case. <laughs> my jacket is from Lori Bells. My pants are also from Lori Bells. And my shoes are from Lori Bells. And then my top is from H&M. So cute. What about your bag? My bag? Target. Okay. My top is from Chicwish. No, you're fine. My belt, I think, is from Copper Closet. My leggings are the Spanx patent leather leggings. This was a hard choice. I'm still not sold on it. And then these are no longer available from Walmart. I had a sweater dress on with tights in the belt. I don't know. It was short. It was going to have to be like one of those pull downs all night. So I didn't feel like that was the safest option. We I feel like go. we go together though. I know, we do. Kind of cute. <laughs> guys it is now Monday I think the last time I vlogged was <clears throat> Saturday morning I was gonna finish the vlog yesterday um, but I was honestly so exhausted and I had no voice so I was like I'll wait and see if I have a voice back tomorrow so here we are why do I have one sleeve rolled and one not? so I lose my voice really easily I do feel like I'm kind of coming down with something um, but also anytime I drink and stay up late, I lose my voice. So it's kind of annoying, but, um, Saturday, actually, yeah, Saturday morning at like 4 a.m., I actually woke up with a horrible, horrible panic attack, and I opened up about my anxiety and my panic attacks and all of that in my last vlog, but I know a trigger for me is staying up too late and drinking but we did stay up really really late I usually cut myself off at 11 o'clock and like go home and I didn't do that it was past 1 o'clock so it's definitely way too late for me and then I woke up at 4 a.m. like full-blown shakes and like full body shakes and everything and I was like running to the bathroom with my face on the toilet because <laughs> I literally thought I was gonna throw up like every half hour I was up and I didn't throw up, I just, I know that's one of my symptoms of having a panic attack. <clears throat> I was feeling like I'm going to throw up. So it was pretty miserable, but I'm honestly so thankful that I was with Emily. She's, she was literally the sweetest, most understanding person. Like I said, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. She's like not irritated at all that it woke her up. She went and got me a cold washcloth for my head and for the back of my neck, which felt so good and definitely definitely helped bring my panic attack down a little bit I was able to like kind of reframe my mind and um yeah it just really helped me be more present in the moment that was super helpful but she would like reach over and rub my arm and she kept checking on me and like literally the sweetest I was thinking about it this morning all over again in my head and I'm like she was an angel so anyway luckily I was able to sleep a little bit we were able to sleep a little bit and in the morning I felt a lot better but for anybody who suffers from panic attacks you know that you literally feel like you've been up for seven days after having one so yeah Saturday we drove home I was so exhausted but like good and then yesterday I think I just crashed like I fell asleep at I literally slept for like 10 hours Saturday night and then yesterday morning it was just Elle and I because Knox is still at Kyle's mom and um yeah i fell asleep at like 10 o'clock on the couch with l <laughs> and that is very unlike me, especially that time of morning like who is tired after they just slept for 10 hours but anyway i was exhausted so here i am i wanted to show you guys what i bought while we were on our trip emily bought well i bought a lot of the same things as emily i would like look at something and think about it and then i'd see it in her hand and i'm like i looked at that too like i was thinking about getting it and we kind of like bounced off each other. I feel like we got a lot of the same things. I wanted to do a little haul with you guys. So um, let's jump right in. I'm going to link everything down below for you guys. I'm not going to try anything on because I'm just, I'm just not. Okay. Let's start off with what I'm wearing. And we went to Aerie. So that's where I'm going to start off. But um, unfortunately, the only extra small they had in this has this stain on it, which I'm really hoping I can get off it looks like just like a surface stain so I think that I can um, but this is like a super soft like almost chenille fabric I love this color but they did have some solid ones as well I saw like gray dark green and it's just so soft and cozy I love this 
um, like collar detail at the top and it comes really low. I am wearing one of their um, offline bras. It's like, I don't know how to show it to you without exposing myself, but I have two of them. I really, really love them. The only thing is, is the sleeves are not, or the straps are not adjustable and I tend to, I'm like short in through here. So I do feel like I'm kind of pulling this up a little bit, but if you're a bit taller, I feel like you would love this. I still love mine, even though it is a little bit long for me through the strap. But anyway, I love this sweater. I feel like you could dress it up, dress it down. I just have it on with leggings, but you could definitely wear like even a pair of dress pants and kind of do a little front tuck with it and wear it to work. It's so cute. By the way, I threw my hair up to put some makeup on and then I didn't feel like doing my hair. So I just like tightened it. So this is like all kinked and <laughs> it's not styled whatsoever. So just whatever. Um, one of my other favorite bras from Aerie, I actually didn't buy this on our trip, but Emily bought one of these. So I just thought I would share it with you guys, but it's like this ribbed material. I think they're true to size because they're so stretchy, but I just love these. These I don't find that they're too long in the strap for me. And I wear these honestly probably like the most throughout the week, especially in the colder months when I'm wearing like sweatshirts or looser sweaters and things. A lot for one of these rather than a real bra any day of the week and I just absolutely love it. I don't know if you guys are getting like a good detail shot on it, but it's also cute if you wanted to wear it for like low impact um like workouts, yoga, etc. I just love them. I have them um, in two or three different colors and they're my fave. I don't know why I didn't grab another one honestly. I wish I had a nude. I have green and then I have like a rusty red shade. Highly highly recommend these. And then next Emily and I both when we walked into area we were like those waffle button ups like these remind me so much of the ones from free people the ones from free people are a bit longer a bit heavier in weight and they're like twice the price so when we saw these emily grabbed the green one i grabbed it in the gray but i absolutely love this and i've almost pulled the trigger on the uh free people one a few times but i tried it on in store one time in the back um hem just comes really really low like almost to like behind my knee and i just feel like i'm 5'4 for my height that's just not my favorite place for things to hit so this one is a little bit shorter it's still perfect with leggings like it's still <laughs> It still comes down, you know, to like tunic length, but I love the waffle material and kind of that washed look. These are so soft and like, they're still pretty heavy, so I love the way that they hang. I actually wore this one yesterday and I just put like a black turtleneck under it with black leggings and black boots and it looked so, so cute. Such a great gift idea for the holidays too because I just feel like anyone and everyone could wear one of these. Even if you're just gonna like wear it around the house, it's the perfect thing to throw on or you can style it up really cute too. Okay, the next thing that I got is this little long line bra. So this is like, again, low impact. It doesn't have any pads in it or anything, but the fabric of this is so buttery, soft and stretchy. I could not resist. I really wanted them to have this in other colors, but the other colors that they had were like a heathered like dark gray and then a heathered maroon which I just wanted like plain solid colors like this I'm gonna check online but it's just so cute so comfy something I'd wear under like what I have on right now again just like a really comfy everyday kind of bra to wear especially if you're lounging or low impact workout but it has like the little built-in shelf bra on the inside no pads or anything it's just like another layer but this is so like spandexy that I feel very secure in it and I actually slept in it the other night and it was like second skin so I love this for all the things I will say the white is a bit see-through so I won't be wearing this to the gym so the next thing that I grabbed and Emily also got these as well I think she got the same color too are these sweats so these are like a mid-rise they come to like just like my belly button or just below so I consider them mid-rise got these cute little pockets and these nice little seams down the front of the leg and they're like a wide leg pant they've got a little slit at the bottom and they're like a terry material on the inside so really really comfy and we just thought these were super cute I did size up in mine and got a small because they didn't have an extra small which I think these fit um, and I love the way that they look nice and loose but I have to have this like tied up and cinched or they're gonna fall to the floor like I wore them for a while yesterday morning um, and I kind of felt like I was pulling them up. So I would personally recommend like your true size. But again, I do really like the loose fit and if you want more of a loose fit, 
uh, size up and just keep your drawstring nice and snug on your waist. But multiple colors in those. And then to go with that, I thought this would be really cute, like kind of like a cute little lounge set. So this is another um, bra that has like a little shelf bra on the inside, but no padding, not crazy supportive. Uh, but just really cute. I love the seams on this one. It's kind of like a crinkly material as well. So it's got some texture to it. And I love that the hem kind of does that like scoop down. I just think that's so flattering. But yeah, I thought this would be cute with those sweats just like lounging around with a big cardigan. Or even I felt like I could probably put a regular bra on under this and wear this as like a top with jeans. I don't know. I haven't tried that. So not super confident in that. But really, really cute. Tons of colors in this. I really wanted this in the nude color to match the sweats. Like, we were excited and we were spending all of our money. Okay, next, I have been trying to find some really, really good, like, cozy, what are these called? I forget, but they're everywhere. Like, Target has some, Abercrombie has some. Uh, I think they started with Skims, but I'm not sure. They're like the really fuzzy, fuzzy Skims pajamas. I tried them from Abercrombie, and the Abercrombie ones were incredible, but they were like a jogger style. And I've wanted, um, like, a wide leg or flare for two years now. And I tried some from H&M, they were so short, like they were above my ankles, but like flared. So it just wasn't cute on me. Anyway, I found these at Aries. So again, they only had a small in the bottom. So these are a little bit loose, but I think it's cute. I'm wondering if the extra small maybe would have been a little snug. As long as these don't get baggy as I wear them, that will really upset me. <clears throat> but look how cute, like super long, wide leg, slouchy, gooey, thick, yummy pajama pants i freaking love these not pajama like no one's gonna actually wear these to bed right maybe i shouldn't call them pajama pants lounge wear and then the little matching sweater i got in a medium because they didn't have any other size but i love the way that this fits i just think this is a really good fit for me i like how it meets um the waistband of these pants and it's like kind of loose but it still hangs close to my body so it just looks cute and effortless and feels so dreamy and comfortable on this fabric feels very high end. It's like much thicker than the one from Target and the knit just feels like, I don't know, it just feels really well done. So I also love this little mock neck that this one has and I would totally wear this sweater with just like jeans and boots too. So you can, you know, wear that one out and about these. I don't know about these, but I'm gonna be wearing these a ton at home and this little set would be such a great gift for the holidays. Love that. So moving on to H&M, I picked up this little mock neck, um, I don't even know what these are called, like fake turtleneck mock neck vest thing. So you throw this on underneath of like say a sweatshirt or something like that so that you don't have to totally layer up and bulk up, but you have that layered look. So I plan on wearing this under sweatshirts or even under like a plaid button up or something. I thought this would be cute with some jewelry maybe my hair like this I kind of like that vibe but it's a really nice thick material with H&M I never know if I can like find things online and link them for you so I'll do my very very best but they did have these in a couple different colors the next thing I got so this is actually two separate pieces but I had them together so I was trying to see what it would look like it's a little button-up shirt with this oversized um, sweater over the top so I planned on wearing this with like faux leather leggings and some like knee high boots or sneakers. I just thought this would be so cute. I love this sweater and like the rib detail. And then I just was sold when I saw that it had the side slit. I noticed that H&M was doing a lot of the side slits in their sweaters. And I just love that. I think it makes it so flattering and just like that much more cute. So yeah, again, these are separate, but I um, thought that would be really cute together. And my battery is dying. Lastly, at H&M, this is something else that Emily and I both got. She got it in like the tan color. I got the cream. Is this little like cropped turtleneck sweater. Nice, like kind of not wide sleeve, but it's just kind of like a straight sleeve. It's not fitted, but it's not like a balloon sleeve. And then it's got this mock neck, which we were, we're trying to play around with it to see if it was going to be one that you could like fold down, which it seemed like you could. So... Um, yeah, I thought that would be really cute. I love where it falls because with high-waisted jeans, this would be like perfect and just kind of loose fitting and effortless and also something really nice to layer up with like a silk skirt or something like that. I think this would go really cute with and just a good basic to have in your closet. I got mine in a size small. They didn't have an extra small, but I love the way this one fits. And I believe Emily got her true size, so I feel like you could really do either. 
And then lastly, just because these came in while I was gone, I ordered these from Amazon. And I really want to do an Amazon reel for Instagram, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, but I got this cropped sweatshirt. Look at the seam and detailing on this, guys. On the back, I just feel like this looks so much more expensive than it was. And the inside is like gooey fleece and the color is so beautiful like not a yellowy taupey tan or anything like this is a perfect neutral tan i love like the oversized um like bat wing sleeve and then it's got a raw cut at the bottom so again cute with jeans and sneakers or just with like my gym outfits i'll totally wear that to the gym and then another thing i got from amazon is this sweater so i saw this somewhere i think it was on instagram and i'm like i need that i need to have that it's so cute it's like a really nice heavy material it is a little bit stiffer but i think once i kind of wear it and stretch it out it will relax a little bit but it's got the side slits i love the color combo and again it's got that inside out kind of like seam detail that i think makes things just look more expensive and i love that little detail so it is tunic length by the way so can wear it with leggings and it should cover your bum if you're about my height or shorter but yeah that is absolutely it i do not want my battery to die on me and i'm losing my voice so i love you guys so much thank you for watching this vlog if you have any questions or requests leave them down below and thank you again to two love for sponsoring today's video all of my links and information for them will be at the top of the description bar if you guys are interested in ordering any of their holiday kits i hope you're doing well and i'll see you next video. Bye guys.